Hey, this is called This is Street Fighter Duel Fast Tips. Today is an intro for people who have never played a gacha game before. I'll be explaining terms, things a new player might not know, and general expectations. As fast as my monologue brain will let me. Gotchas. Gotchas are a game in which you pull random characters. You use currency, usually some form of gem, to pull one at a time or ten at a time. Pulling ten at a time usually has some form of benefit. Gacha games can accept real-world currency to convert into these gems. Be careful, if you're prone to a gambling addiction, this is a slippery slope to get into, and I can't recommend playing gacha games in good conscience. If you can play safely and budget accordingly, or not spend at all, then Street Fighter Duel is an insanely fun idle game to play. Idle games. Idle games are games you play by not playing the game. You earn rewards such as experience to level up your fighters and gear to make your fighters even stronger just by waiting. If you ever get stuck in Street Fighter Duel, always remember that simply waiting will also benefit you. Banners. Banner is a term used to describe where you go to pull characters, named as such because it has usually some form of art splashing across the screen, hence banner. In gacha games, there's typically a normal banner where you can pull the basic as heck characters and a special banner where you can pull the highly sought after insanely OP units, or just the new units, or just the cute units, or the pretty ones, or the pretty hot ones. Pity. Pity is a mechanic in the game that guarantees that you'll get the unit you're looking for after a certain amount of pulls. Genshin is a great example because you have a guaranteed chance to pull a 5 star unit after 89 failed pulls. At the time of this video, no information has been released or gathered about a pity system in Street Fighter Duel. Soft pity. Like pity, but not really. Genshin again saves the day on this analogy. After 74 failed pulls, the chance to get a 5 star unit increases slowly up until a maximum of 90 pulls. A game with a soft pity system encourages you to do single pulls once you reach it, but again, as of right now, Street Fighter Duel has no confirmation on such a system existing. I'll stick with my multi-pulls for now. Login. Gacha and idle games have a login rewards, which encourage players to continue to play the game even if they're stuck with a wall or don't feel like progressing. These rewards are usually okay to decent, and often provide a small extra boost towards breaking through the next wall that you've reached. Walls. Walls are points in the game where progression either slows significantly or halts completely. The first thing I want to say to you is, you aren't alone. Nearly every player reaches the same wall and is stuck progressing for at least a little bit. Walls are either due to a lack of resources, such as boosting your characters with break stones, or a difficulty spike, such as clearing stages 940, 1140, or 1240. It's worth noting that most walls can usually be bypassed completely by spending money on the game, as that's likely the reason that walls exist in gacha games. But don't buy into this trap. All it means is that you'll reach the next wall even quicker, and once you've spent money already, it'll be that much easier to spend money again. Events. Many gotchas constantly have events happening. This can lead to an overwhelming and cluttered menu when done poorly, but have heart. These events offer many good rewards for every type of player. Even as I record this, the tarot event has 24 hour breakstone packs that every kind of player might want to invest in. Rerolling. Rerolling is where you reset all progress in favor of getting a better set of units to begin the game with. In Street Fighter Duel, you can reroll by switching servers, but you can also switch back to any server you've been in if you want to go back and use the units from that server. You can't bring units over between servers but if you have two or three accounts that you like, you can jump between those servers without losing progress at each one. Rerolling is a valuable tool for free-to-play players to get good units at the beginning of the game, and when rerolling, it's usually a good idea to start with a new server and try to get the Steps of Honor rewards as well. Speaking of players, let's jump into types of players. Whales. Whales are players who either have a large amount of disposable income, a gambling addiction, or both. They usually stomp everyone in player versus player content, PvP and the only way to match them is to match their level of spending, which I don't recommend for most players, or all players for that matter. Typically, whales are described as spending at least a thousand dollars, but often spend tens of thousands, if not more, monthly. Something to note though, they almost entirely fund the game, so they aren't a bad thing for the community. Dolphins. This is the next level below whales. Ranging from around $20 a month up to 1000 dolphins spend on fewer things because they find that it's not worth the value that they are putting into it. They still will be stronger than the following two categories, but you won't see them quite as kitted than whales depending on how new the game is. They also might splurge on characters they really, really like. Hey there, post editing call here. It's also worth noting that some people come up with a category called sharks that are between dolphins and whales and kind of make that dollar range a little bit more even. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to have four categories. Minnows. This is the next smallest group. Minnows only get the packs they deem worth it. Things like the monthly pack, the Chun-Li packs, and a few other things. Small fish in a big pond, they're in the game for the fun of it and will be outpowered by dolphins and whales. 
Most players who spend money on gotchas fit into this category, so don't always believe that everyone is a big spender, so I need to spend too. Finally, free to play. The true heroes of the gacha community, free to play players make up the majority of any gacha game and give the game traction. A game that drives away free to play players will eventually drive away dolphins, since whales will take it out on them, and then dolphins will leave, and then whales will leave since playing against other whales usually isn't very fun for them. If you aren't free to play, consider being kind to them, lend them good units, and support them rather than looking down on them driving them away from this game. That wraps up all the different types of characters, so hopefully this video clarified some things you might not have known about as a player new to these types of games. I'll be back next week with a slightly deeper video going over some mechanics in Street Fighter Duel that not necessarily every gacha game has. Subscribe if you want to be here for that. Finally, as always, remember to tell the people in your life that you care about that you love them. Bye!